It was the first event of its kind in Putnam County last month, and organizers say God did more than they could have hoped or planned. Andy takes us to the daddy-daughter date night at the Fogel Center in Lipsick. A simple rose, a keepsake picture, one-of-a-kind jewelry, hors d'oeuvres, a chocolate fountain. These were just a few of the elements planned for the first daddy-daughter date night in Putnam County. Sponsored by the Lipsick Ministerial Association, it was an exquisite night designed to show daughters just how special they are and to encourage dads, uncles, grandpas, or special mentors to teach these important girls the value of being treated as a young lady. You know, you, you wonder, are, are there other like-minded dads uh, out there that are searching for some way to connect to their daughters? And uh, I think it was evidence tonight that uh, they are. And uh, this was a great outlet uh, for them to take some time uh, and enjoy one another's company and hopefully come away with some ideas uh, to strengthen their relationship. The night included encouragement to the dads and a challenge to the daughters. 19-year-old musician Hannah Beck encouraged the girls in the audience to embrace their God-given purpose and reminded the men of their ability to help those girls find that purpose. More than 160 attended the first time event in the Fogel Center in Lipsick. I just think it's important that we can spend that time with our kids and to be in an environment like this where we make uh, the, the scripture important and being a daddy and raising our daughters to follow him. I liked being with my dad, um, um, listening to Hannah Beck sing and um, pretty much everything. I think it's important for dads to uh, treat their daughters special so they understand um, the love of Christ and how they should be treated as they go through their lives. Oh, I love it. I will definitely do this again next year. One of the most emotional moments of the night involved writing a letter. Fathers wrote to their daughters. Daughters wrote to their dads. They were sealed and addressed. And over the course of the next year, those same letters will be mailed to their rightful recipients. Something organizer Adam Cup says, without a doubt, will create a lasting impression. I think that they, they provide uh, those memories uh, that so often dads and daughters don't have. Uh, with, with, with the speed at which we all live today and everything is, is right now and, and on to the next thing, uh, it was an opportunity to pause. Uh, I, I asked another dad sitting at the table with me tonight, when was the last time you hand wrote a letter? Uh, and as you can imagine, he chuckled and said, oh, it's been quite some time. You know, when was the last time we addressed an envelope? And so, you know, you find yourself sitting and, and doing some of these things that we take for granted and, and that in some cases we don't do anymore. And, and when it's to someone we love and to someone we care about, it just makes it all that much more special. In a fast-paced society that too often sends family members in opposite directions, this one-night event was designed to do just the opposite, bring them together, unified as a family, just as God intended when he created them. Really a special evening, a lot of fun to see daughters yeah. and dads connect and to especially taste that chocolate fountain. <laughs> yeah, I know really you, good. you and your, your daughter love the punch. <laughs> I think she was on her 35th. She loves uh, punch. Glass of punch. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Very neat to see uh, dads and their daughters and just investing in their daughter's life, mm. an important event.